Hi, my name is Lance Katigbak. I'm a member of Southridge Class 2011, and I'm currently a junior at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where I study film production and psychology. I cannot thank Southridge enough for the kind of person that it has made me and it has trained me to be today. And there are really two ways that it did this. The first is through the holistic education that the school employs. It was more, it's something that, was, that went beyond, I guess, the academics in the classroom. Yes, I learned a lot. Um, yes, you were taught many excellent things in the classroom. But it was really what happened outside the classroom that I'm most thankful to Southridge for. Because to be honest, you can, get, you can learn the same things in the classroom at any top high school in the Philippines. But what I think makes Southridge unique is its um, special focus on personal formation and then really training you to become a man of integrity, somebody who serves God and who serves others, especially the needy. And there were many ways that it did this, whether it was through the weekly mass sponsorships so or the week or the I guess weekly or monthly confessions, um, and the virtue of the month talks, and, and all of these things you don't realize how important they are to you. At least I didn't until after I left, until after I graduated, and then I realized, oh, nobody's going to bug me to go to confession anymore, and this is something that I have to do on my own. And thankfully, uh, if what I saw while I was studying at the University of the Philippines was any indication, Southridge students will still go to confession pretty often, at least among my batchmates. Um, um, so that was, I guess that was the first thing. It was the, the powerful holistic education um, that Southridge had. And also, I guess, it's, ho it's homeschool collaboration. It was always the same message that Southridge was enforcing and that my parents were telling me. So when you're surrounded by this consistent message, it's really something that you take to yourself and really something that you embody. Uh, I guess, and then the second thing that I'm thankful to Southridge for was that it surrounded me with amazing people and people who were willing to invest in me and who were willing to train me and to make me a better person. I say this not just about my friends, but also about um, my mentors and my teachers at, at Southridge. People who were willing to try to make me a better person even after they stopped getting paid for school. They really went out of their way to, I guess, to invest in me, um, to talk to me, and um, I guess to, to reassure me and to, uh, to just to just be there, I guess, for me. Um, and this was something that I saw very consistently from as early as I was prep. I had my first mentor, Mr. Barrientos, who saw that after I didn't get my student award in prep, who wanted to make sure that I'd get it every year after by you know, telling me to become a better person. So it in Mr. Salamat, who, um, who, uh, who saw my promise as, as an MC uh, early on and you know, got me involved in these different, um, these different events where I could develop my public speaking skills. And in grade three, it was Mr. Hensha, um, who, who saw that I could become an altar server as young as grade three, even if most students would start at grade five. And he trained me to become an altar server, but more than just um, serving God in the literal sense during mass, it was also serving the community um, through the outreach projects and through the activities that the Southridge Service Society had. In grade five, it was Mr. Entoy who saw that I, was a, I had promise as a writer and who trained me and who uh, made me the first editor-in-chief of the Junior Ridge uh, when we started it then. And all throughout high school, I was surrounded by, uh, again, more teachers like uh, Mr. Salazar, who saw my promise as a writer and as a, as a thinker and as a debater. Uh, and Mr. Abessa, who saw my promise in, in creativity and in business um, as we did the Teenpreneur Challenges. And all throughout, there are so many more teachers, and if I could thank them all, I would. Uh, but it was really these, uh, these teachers who continued to invest in me, continued to take the time out um, and uh, to believe in me and to, to tell me that I had what it took um, to succeed. And I cannot be, I cannot be more thankful to them for, uh, for everything that they have done for me. And I think it, it has something that I've tr at least tried to keep um, close to my heart ever since I graduated. I know that I am the person I am today, not because of my own efforts, but because of the collective efforts of those who raised me and of those who tried to make me a better person. And Southridge is definitely on the top of that list right after my parents. Um, so thank you very much, Southridge. Um, I can honestly say, as cliche as it sounds, that I would not be where I am today without you. But at the same time, thank you to everybody who's ever touched my life and who's ever uh, made me the person I am today. I try to keep uh, God ab um, on top of everything. I try to serve others, uh, especially the needy, uh, in my day-to-day -day life. And all these things I owe to Southridge. Thank you very much.